who is moving. I'm at rest. There is a no experiment in physics. Isaac can prove that he is at rest, and I'm moving. Who is moving? No. Well, no, because the answer no to who is moving depends frame. on the reference frame. Of course, you can do something no to test who is moving frame frame if you specify the reference frame. Relative. But without the reference frame, there is no answer to who is moving. Everybody, this is Rashi Berry from Columbia University, your host for Daily Physics. Today, episode number seven, and topic is yesterday we did non inertial and inertial reference frame. Today, we're going to continue because we got some requests. I have two contestants one from New York University, Shubhan Isaac, and I have a god of physics from Brown University. A few requests regard to do things on uh, special relativity. The main idea of relativity is that there is no true reference frame. Let me give you an example. Car is moving with 50 meters per second. Ref is throwing an apple with 5 meters per second at 90 degree angle. Apple. The first and foremost question is, okay, this is location A. At location A, time is zero and D is zero. Can you tell me at location B, the distance of ref at the end of one second? What is the distance of car at the end of one second? And what is the distance of apple at the end of one second? So Isaac reference frame, what is the ref displacement at the end of one second? 50. 50. What is the apple displacement at the end of one second? Well, it depends on which direction. Horizontal, 50. 50, uh, 50 meters. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. This is also Isaac reference frame. Ref, at the end of one second, ref. Zero. Zero. Zero, yeah. Uh, Apple is zero. Apple is zero. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, you no. want to know why? No, no, no. Is this in uh, this is an Isaac's reference frame? Yeah, uh, but reference frame. The vertical displacement is zero at the end anyway. It comes back. To yeah, but you don't know that it comes back after one second. Yes, I do. You want to know how? No. Please. No, no. Let me t tell you how. No, both of you do the math. You have to show. No, no. Me. I know that it comes no, no, back after one wait, second. Wait, wait, wait. Just you know just why? Do you know second. why? Look. V F equals V I. Plus a Man, you're two. stupid. So if you wait, the uh, final velocity is negative v five, is which is the opposite five, of five, which means it must have returned to the same place it this started. Is, uh, ten. So man, you're slow. One second. Let, let me do this again. One second. One second. Ugh. The, uh, Why are you frustrated like that? He, he had the correct equation and okay. then just erased it because well, he couldn't figure it out or something. Uh, uh, that should not cause a frustration. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, yeah, go boy. Plug in some values. Oh, 0.5. Okay, this should be. No, no. no. Let's... Wait. Okay. I saw... Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay. So that means after a half a second, okay, let me draw a nice picture. Let me draw okay. a nice picture. Okay. Go ahead. So this, this is, is actually sad. This is a master's physics student. Uh, he this is, is a master's student in physics. And he is showing. He is showing why people consider him as god of physics. He is trying to help. Can I show you the simpler method? Wait. You, you can do. You can okay. do. It starts okay. with five meters per second. It uh, goes for one second, which means the end is negative five meters per second because of Earth's acceleration being ten. And since at the end it has the exact opposite of the start and it moves in a parabolic motion, that means it must have come back to exactly where it started. Okay. So this is the this is the picture. You're a really dumb one, Ref. <laughs> okay. he, is, he is trying to help babies born today. To yeah. Well, he's the doing the math at the speed of a baby born today. So it's I'm not about the quantity of the math. 
It's about the quality of the math. Well, yeah, but my math is just as quality as yours. At ref reference frame, what is the displacement of ref? Well, it's always zero, zero when it, you're in your own reference frame. Uh, what is the dis what is the displacement of apple? Well, it comes back to you. Oh, wait, you're holding it, so it's zero. zero. Uh, oh. Yeah. Uh, what is the displacement of car? Well, it's also zero, zero because you're always standing on it in the same place. Displacement of Isaac is negative 50. It's right? also zero. Displacement of apple? I, I agree. Displacement of car? Zero. zero. And displacement of Isaac? Zero. zero. If you're in Isaac's reference frame, the no. correct answer is that ref is moving. If you're in ref's reference frame, the correct answer is that Isaac is moving. Because the answer depends on what reference frame you're in, because there is no absolute reference frame that we can use to tell whether something is moving or not. Okay. Okay. So now Isaac is here. He is watching. And Raf is, of course, in the car, moving 50 meters per second. And Raf is... Uh, All right, you're shooting something, a bullet moves with 100 meters per second at zero degree. Hmm. At the end of one second, a displacement of Isaac, anything I'm missing? A uh, bullet? Did displacement man of bullet? Anything? Why did you write F for ref? Huh? Why did you write F for ref? Ref. Oh, that is Raf on the car, or is he watching? On the car. Raf is on the car, yeah. moving 50 okay. meters per second. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Anything okay. missing? No, no, I don't think okay. so. From Raf reference frame, displacement of Isaac, displacement of car. So what is the displacement of Raf? 50. Okay. Yeah. Displacement of car? 50. Uh, 50. Displacement of Isaac? Zero. Zero. Isaac is not moving. Yeah. Not in his reference frame. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, displacement of bullet. 150. 150. Okay. That reference frame. Raf is at? Ref. So what is the displacement of Isaac? Minus 50. 50. Displacement of car? Zero. Zero. Displacement of ref. Zero. Zero. Displacement of bullet. 100. Why it is a special theory of relativity and how it is connected with Newtonian relativity or Galilean relativity? And what is the main idea? Okay, yeah. So the main idea of relativity is that there is no true reference frame. So, for example, in this case, we had ref on a car shooting a bullet and we had Isaac watching him from from afar and Rev thinks that the bullet is going at 100 meters per second but Isaac from the ground sees that the bullet is moving at 150 meters per second because the velocity of the bullet adds to the velocity of the car so this addition of velocities applies to any object so uh, except for one object there's only one object in the universe that does not speed up when you look at it from another reference frame if you shoot instead of a bullet, if you shoot a beam of light, then even if you shoot the beam of light from from a rocket, from a car, from a uh, from a train, regardless of where you shoot the beam of light from, it will look like it's traveling at the same speed uh, if you are looking at it from a stationary observer. So there's only one object that has a constant velocity regardless of the reference frame, and that's of the speed of of course, in on, uh, in inertial reference frame. Okay. So, well, by some actually, so yeah, there is no okay. reference frame you can uh, transform to where the speed of light slows down. Non-inertial reference frame, the uh, speed of light would be different. We're going to come back to that when we do the GR. Okay. I don't think I that's don't. how the universe works, buddy. <laughs> Uh, okay, can you check that off and then um, so that you can... No, no, not now. Not, uh, not now. No. You're checking right now? In a oh, okay. non-inertial oh, non reference frame, the speed of light is not the same. You can check that up later. Yes, the speed of light remains constant in non-inertial frames. It's not. If you create a pause 
and pulse move with velocity b 10 meter per second then at the end of one second what would be the location of the pulse and location of u okay so after one second the pulse will be at 10 meters away and, from and from ref would, and ref would be at so ref doesn't move so i guess ref's position is zero meters for the whole time okay great yeah. all right now if ref is moving 10 meter per second then what would be the location of ref and uh, pulse at the end of one second okay ref then would be at 10 meters and the pulse would be at 20 meters why pulse should be 20 meters because uh from isaac's perspective that's the misconception um, wait what this is this is a wave and you wave you cannot get the velocity of the source wave when you do the wave is not like a bullet bullet get the velocity of the car but wave doesn't doesn't get the velocity of the source huh so then the ref and wave would be exactly the same 10 meter per 10 meter at the end of one second because wave did not get the velocity of the ref because you okay. cannot trans transfer the velocity uh you know you start running ref is start running right mm -hmm. the, the the moment you give a velocity to the wave you start running 10 meter per second as wave moving 10 meter per second but that 10 meter do not